Hey guys, today's episode is brought to you by Blink Predict. BlinkPredict.com is a new way to watch Dota. It's a free to play way to win Dota skins using your Dota knowledge by watching Dota. Roland, have you ever sat around and just watched some pro Dota, some stream Dota before? No, but I put my email into <laughs> Blink Predict. <laughs> into BlinkPredict.com, so now you can. So, you know, I'm sitting at work all the time and thinking, I should be doing this, and I'm going to. You can sign up with your email, your Facebook, your Google account. You can try to beat the market by correctly answering in-game questions want to beat throughout you. the game. Like, if you do it, I'll, I'll definitely right. do it. And just I don't care about everybody else. It's about beating you. Well, the way you do it is by beating the entire community. You, you know, you got to know more than anybody else. You get to do things like uh, answer questions uh, along the lines of uh, most last hits by X time. Uh, who's going to take the next Aegis? When's the next tower going to fall? Uh, total kills by the end of the game. All types, all types of Dota prediction questions. And you answer those questions correctly. You earn points that you can put towards raffles to win awesome Dota skins and other Dota items. The real money site, BlinkPool.com, will be launching later this year. But right now, you can head over to BlinkPredict.com and play for free. That's BlinkPredict.com. Tell them .p sent you. I queue a lonely road, it's the only one that I have ever known. I won't be 4K, but it's only me and I queue alone. I queue on USC's, why my wife and child are fast asleep. Where the trolls increase, and I'm the only one and I queue alone. I queue alone, I queue alone I queue alone, I queue alone I'm shadow solo losing to this fairy My shallow seems the only thing that's feeding Sometimes I wish someone out there will TP Till then I knit alone Double, double, double down Double, double, double down I'm queuing down the line That divides me from high skill and mine On the borderline of teamwork And still I queue alone Read between the times, no Roshane up, everything's alright. I just checked the pit to know he's not alive, and I walked alone. I walked alone, I died alone. I queue alone, I queue up. My shadow solo losing to this fairy. My shallow seems the only thing that's feeding Sometimes I wish someone out there will see me Till then I'm in Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Defense of the Patients. We are a Dota 2 podcast. I'm Cyphus, that's Roland. Hello. And uh, I was getting my ass kicked. I Oh, you know what? Here's, here's the story I have to tell right off the bat. I had the biggest throw of my life last week in a Monkey King game. It was brutal. On Monkey King Carry? On Monkey King Carry. Yeah. We, uh, we're playing this game, we are playing super smart, super safe, the entire way, all the way through it, and I'm perched up on, it's a, what, to make this, sorry, to make this worse, also on my team is a fellow named Mortred, M-O-R-T-R-E-D. Mortred, it turns out, is a listener of the show. 
And you were an asshole? No, I wasn't an asshole oh. at all. No, 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 no. It was, it was, but <laughs> I, I threw hard. Love that my mind goes. <laughs> so for Mordred, we, uh, it, it was a tough game. I mean, it ended with like the kill score. There was a difference of two between each team. Um, they had to do a GG push at the end in order to capitalize on the fact that I, I threw so hard. We're sitting at the bottom racks. I'm waiting to go in and I see this lion and the lion is the only one who gives me any sort of trouble you know, on the team, because he can hex me and he can fuck with me, right, before I can do anything. I see this lion. I'm perched on the tree so I can see their high ground. I see the lion running around, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to end this lion right now, and then there's nothing they can do. Pop my BKB. Use my, what's the, what's the, what's his, uh... It's, it's tree down, it's called Primal Spring. Primal Spring, yeah. Use the Primal Spring. I drop down on top of the lion. Boom, boom, boom. Go to get my fourth hit to end it all. And there they come, the entire team, the axe, blink, call, boom, I'm dead, gone. Because Blade Mel on your fourth hit? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yep. yeah. Yep. That's he nice. blink calls me. The I, I, All the damage that I'm doing to him, I do right back to myself. I die. I go in. I don't tell anybody I'm going in. I don't let them know that I'm going to siege the high ground. We've taken the top lane of Rax. We've taken the mid lane of Rax. I see the lion and I just, I was just cocky. It was just incredibly cocky. Like, you know, when you get to that point on monkey King where it's like, I can wreck everybody. Mm -hmm. I can destroy them all. I could kill them all. It's easy, yeah. easy game. Yeah. Dive in, get the blink call from the ax. And that was it. Like it was just, it was game over. So I die. And admittedly, like there was an opportunity for us to come back. Our, our Marana like decided that she was going to try to like solo stave off the, the mid push. So she went in and died all on her own the enigma blunk in and did two back to black back black holes but nobody was alive the, mm. the other four of us were dead so like it was it was a throw from me i'm the reason that you started the throw i started line. the throw line yeah. i was the and it started at the the enemy's bottom lane of racks and the throw the throw conga line ended somewhere around our mid racks can um, i red bull somewhere around there by the way? <laughs> uh you've got a cherry cola That'll do. That'll do. A cherry cola. A, a chicka cherry cola. I'm ch my throat is chafed. So, uh, but then, I'm so. parched. So I throw that game and I feel really shitty and I'm like, yeah, oh man, I can't believe I did that. And uh, I go and I play in a five stack with uh, Dire Wolf and Voiceless Fade and Backwards and Kha'Zix. Um, and then uh, I finish that with them and I go right back into solo queue after I do a, a, a nice Spirit Breaker run with those guys. And uh, this time I get queued up with Mortred again mm. in another solo queue match where I play Jug and we managed to dominate. So I got nice. to I got to redeem myself for, for poor Mortred, who at the end of, who at the end of it all was like, "Here, enjoy the show." Oh, I was wow! Like, I was like, "Thanks, sorry, I screwed us." <laughs> yeah. Um, as far as Dota reporting goes, I don't have a ton. Um, I if you look at my do you have Dota buff pulled I, up? I have your Dota your Dota is open on this computer. Oh yeah, like look at how many games I've played since we last recorded. Ooh, a minus forty eight on Morphling and a minus fifty two on Monkey King. Yeah, two double downs. Um, the Morphling, I both games I was top top of the top of the losing team. I was the best loser in that game. Um, but I'm realizing I'm building Monkey King some completely wrong. I, I took a look at Proud's build, which is like Treads, Battle Fury, Sanjan Yasha, and I keep forgetting the Sanjan Yasha, which I need to get the Sanjan Yasha because I'm, I'm building him so glass cannon -y where, yeah, I will kill the entire team if I'm alive, but right. I'm dead <laughs> most of the time. So, well, and um, sometimes he'll deviate and like grab, he'll grab that BKB like wherever he kind of needs to in that one. I suppose you didn't really need the BKB in that. I game. needed, I, I needed, um, although I needed level 25 for the 25 strength um, instead of the 100% boundless. I was definitely going the strength that game because I needed that. And then I was trying to get an AC at the end because I was like, I need armor. I need armor and I need health to, yeah. for my EHP, right? Um, but I was just, yeah, it sucked. I was getting, uh, the Sven was like three shotting me. And like, like not even God strength, just like, blam. And he had necklace saver. So I'd be like, bam, bam, bam. And I'd just be dead. And I was nothing I could do. Ugh. And so I, f I didn't miss a last hit till like seven minutes. And I was super proud. I was at like 42 or something like that. 44 at seven minutes, maybe more. And I was just, the Leshrac in my lane was zoning super well. My farm was insane. Um, till I get the battle. I got the battle fury sometime around like, 14 minutes with uh, Aki 
flight treads. Um, I like my farm was just incredible that game. And then I went for the Deso um, right off that, right after that. And then I realized that Deso would have that money spent on Deso would have been much better as SNY um, for a little more movement speed, a maim, and some health. Yeah, that would have been huge. Um, opposed to a Deso that really wasn't that necessary because I was already dealing a shit ton of damage. I feel like the S and Y. I mean, I guess they. I guess maybe they both do, but I feel like the S and Y gives you more like single target, like viability. Like it gives you that. It gives you that ability to kind of man fight, like one v one man fight somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, as I needed everything I could have against Sven. Like I wish there was like a Lincoln Sphere for like getting hit in the face by Sven. Like not not like his stun, <laughs> but like just getting like cleaved down and the echo saber slow albeit it's only like 0.3 seconds it slows you for an, an amount that i yeah. don't know um was rough like i would be 0. like seven seconds a 0. 0.7 seconds so yeah, that's pretty long yeah that's pretty long um so it means it guarantees him a third hit because it's hit yeah. hit hit and i'm just i'm dead i i like i noticed i died completely i had a couple good High ground, low ground, Monkey King ults, where like I'm on the high ground, the whole fight's happening on the low ground, and I Monkey King ult and get a good boundless strike into it, and we're like, wow, 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 wow. Uh, and had a, uh, that game was honestly a ton of fun. It just ended. I, I bought back. Um, we they had taken two rocks. I bought back to defend the third. Sven Blunk stunned two of us, and a. a, a Cleaving off of me, he killed our something. I can't remember what he was. Maybe it was... I, I can't remember who was even on that team. Um, it killed me, killed him. I didn't have buyback anymore. They won. They just pushed and won, and it sucked. Um, so funny. I was like... I had this... like I had like the Mona Lisa of laning phases. Nobody was harassing me. I didn't even need to use my tango or my salve. I, had, I bought a set of tangos and a salve. Didn't even need to use it. Uh, didn't even need to use one tango because the guy was so harassed. I mean, the first 10 minutes, you were even higher net worth than the Alk on the enemy team. I was, yeah. I mean, what was, do you know my last min, last hit at 10? Uh, no, I can't find that it out. It was like 65 or 70, but I also had a kill. I mean, I could find it out, but I'm not going to go through the work. Um, it was just a beautiful, it was a beautiful game. Uh, the Morphling game was similar. I, although I didn't have as many last hits, I had like, I was three and oh and 50 by, by that point. So um yeah it was uh it was really a rough game and we are going to take a quick break and be right back with you this is not for another advertisement this is because i have to answer my phone and we're back because i took a phone call that i had to take trust me it was important but the topic does not need to be discussed (laughs) so um yeah i i I guess the only other big thing that we could delve into like difficulty wise with dota is is the ad 12 team or we could talk first. There's so there's a couple difficulties we got to get out of the way before we talk about the eighty two. Okay, all right. My time. Yeah, I have none of it. Um, I went from so much time that I was like, I'm bored of Dota. I'm not gonna like. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I've played eleven games today. I'm done. Like I I'm I've had enough. I'm doted out to the point where I'm getting maybe six games a week if I'm lucky. Uh, with not even a game a day. Um. So, and Thursday, my only games were the 82L games, um, or for our 82L team, two practice games. Um, and yeah, it just, that just sucks because things have been so crazy. We're selling, we're selling the house with the, with the studio, which really hurts me really bad guys, just so you know, but we're moving into, um, a new house where there will be, where Denny and I will have about quadruple actually the room of a studio yeah it'll be nice to have a little more space in here you you by the way have played 10 games in the last week i played 10 yeah okay so i played two on thursday um i played one really shitty one in vegas where my ping was like 160 as earthshaker and oh. i was like i was oh and 19 or something like that i've um, had i've had several games recently where i ra- i never get high ping and i've been getting really crazy high ping well, and i think it's on, on us MacBook. east it's also on MacBook. yeah and I was very west. I was in Nevada, right? So I was super west, and I think I was put on east. And and I've started pulling US East out of my queue. Of all heroes to have high ping on, Earthshaker is a really bad one. Yeah. Um, because I went to Fissure. I was like, Fissure here, 
and then two seconds later, it's like there. Oh, I'll tell you and who it was just tough to bad. have high ping on too. Is, is I mean, every hero is sure, but uh, in the laning phase on Jug, I had I had the yeah. supports to set me up to get spin kills early on on a solo off laner. Mm-hmm. I would be spinning, I would be running after the guy, and I'd be clicking, and then all of a sudden he'd be up over here, and I'm down over there. Yeah, that's how I felt with Earthshaker. Well, I, I had a, a ton of ults where I. I still managed to get a blink dagger and everything. I blink in and I'd ult, and then there'd be nothing there, and I and everybody'd be like, "What the fuck, Earthshaker? What the fuck?" And I'd yeah. be like, "Dude, oh, I had the support I, freaking out." I at was me. like, "I'm <laughs> seeing ghosts, bro." <laughs> I told them, like, it, this this map is haunted, dude. I, I had the support yelling at me about like, yeah. th- that spin was that spin maybe caught was about twenty percent of its time on him was what the, yeah. one, one guy told me. It I was, was like, "Look, it was I super rough." I was like, "Is that not evidence to you that like obviously twenty yeah. percent is a drastic failure rate? Like yeah. it wasn't like I was I, I, I was just yesterday. barely behind him or kind of fucking up like." I was very clearly going a different direction from yeah. the direction that that guy was going. Like that's not what I intended. But this is my week where I get to play Dota. This coming week? The the last week. So oh, my okay. ten games are the weeks that I have more time for Dota. Right, right. So right. this upcoming week, I'll I'll be lucky to get the practice games in Thursday, which sucks. Yeah. Um, I I still fall asleep watching Dota. I, my big thing has been watching from the pros' perspective on YouTube. So instead of like watching a pro game, I'm watching like our cheesy Shadow Fiend mid, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or Bobica Ricky, you know what I mean? And stuff like that, because I am going to be playing the four position. And that has been like you learn so much just yeah. watching them play. Uh, but there are certain things that just can't be taught. And that's execution. Like oh, sure. I can watch Bobica and I can see his builds and I can see where he's going. But also that isn't super... Um, relative or relative relevant to our games because bobica is anticipating what pros are going to do i'm trying to anticipate what <laughs> our team average is 2.2k so i'm trying yeah. to anticipate what 2.2k players are going to do yeah so it's it's that also you don't learn a ton from because bobica's like why is he there that's crazy and it's like oh because the guy he knows the guy's there and there's going to be a courier coming here and you know and that's something i can get better on is he he does like this uh, cool, like he'll ward in the base early on. So he sees if the courier is going like mid or bot. Oh, yeah. And then he'll be able to determine, am I getting, a, am I sniping the courier bot? Am I sniping the courier mid? Um, he, he's my idol, Bobica. Uh-huh. Uh, I want to be Bobica. That's, that's the guy. When it comes to your Ricky play, at least. When it comes to just my four play, he's the best one. Like GH is a great four player for sure. Um, but with, with the way our team is lined up, uh, I can't play a lot of the heroes GH plays because of our five. Because of what our five plays, I can't play what GH plays, which is your, you know, your coddle. I still think you could get away with that. I, I, um, we can't have no lockdown on both of our supports. No, I agree. And like, I'm not, you know, I, I've not. I've not advocated the like Tulik only play Lich. I've m- mostly been advocating that Tulik play lich whenever he and i queue together primarily just so that and and, yeah, and and which we haven't been able to do in like the last week and i need to do more of so that he and i can get more kind of in sync but um i don't know i i i i just i feel like lich is a really great hero to learn other basic things on like he's definitely sure. the go-to hero for for anybody that wants to improve like if for you want to improve on for pole for yeah, making if, sure you use that like uh, using the armor thing is similar well to, and using your spells right like yeah. there's nobody more important than lich to use every to spell use you all have. of your spells right because yeah. like when you're all the time yeah all much. the time because you have the sustain to do oh, it all the hold time. on to it probably but you're you're three use those all the time. yeah exactly and so like that's why it, and I, I one of the things i notice anytime i i queue with anybody who's who's lower mmr or you know like i'd say like 1.5 and below is and, and I had that problem too. Like it was a big problem for me when I was 1.3k when we first started this thing. Is I wasn't using spells. I didn't use spells. And uh, you know, you've heard proud like proud's. You know, he always yells at everybody like, just use your spells, mm-hmm. and <laughs> that's all you got to do is just use those spells. And with Lich, it you sounds stupid always to hear that. I, yeah, but like, but it's like, yeah. You're any right. moment you're not, you know, any moment that uh, on Lich, any moment that sacrifice is not on cooldown is a waste. Yeah. Any moment, or at least for the first ten minutes of the game, any moment that all game, 
Get, well, Lich wants levels. So yeah, but sometimes you don't want Lich like snatching creeps because what I the if other thing pushing, sure. right because the other like I, I get this with Rin more than anything is like I'll be I'll be intending to push a lane and I've I've failed to like verbalize this or I I, I haven't or have you've yet to verbalize like I'm deciding like yeah are we gonna push yeah I think we're gonna push and right as I think we're gonna push I see a catapult just disappear yeah don't you take know? the catapults <laughs> um you, I, I think you can pretty much take range creeps all game because range creeps don't do shit to towers. Range creeps only do fifty percent. But they of the do, damage. but they do push the wave. They push the wave, but if you're in that wave intending to push, you're pushing the wave more than one True. range creep. Yeah. But yeah, no, there definitely are times. I guess later in the and game, like with drow, like I want, I I like having the range creeps when I'm drow because at least I'm giving yeah. them the the bonus. As drow, that's an exception for sure. But drow, I think you use your e with catapults. I think that's yeah, for sure. There. For sure, um, you try to time it with the catapults. If which you can. I that's why I love Drow Ogre because you, what you do is you bloodlust the catapult and then you hit your E and the catapult's attacking super oh, yeah. fast and doing a shit ton of damage. Yeah, um, and that's a fun combo. We never really got to. Execute I talked that. about that. That's why I wanted the ogre with the visage mm. or ogre with the Drow. Yeah, no, I'd love to try that. Uh, yeah, because yeah. ogre just makes everything better. With I drow. so let let's talk about that Drow game. That like remind me of the draft even so. It was a tough one. Um, oh no, that's not. That's uh, sorry. I was looking at yours, and that was you playing Drow, not me. I won that game. Yeah, I know, and that's <laughs> why I knew. It, that's why I knew it was the wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun uh, game. So it was. It was me on Drow, Migs on Nature's Prophet Mid, um, which proud like those of you out there who instantaneously went Nature's Prophet Mid, give Migs a break. All right. Proud, proud already chastised the poor bastard for for nature's profit mid. I'm and I'm not even opposed I'm to not, experimentation. I'm not against it personally. I'm I mean there are there I'm against it in certain matchups, but I'm, um, I'm not. Totally so we had it. SA on LC off lane, uh, you on the Earthshaker, and Tulik on the Shadow Shaman, and this was against that team uh, that we, we had, played against we, them the first game. Yeah, and so when they whomped us. They were on Dazzle, Marana, Tusk, Viper, and Timbersaw, except that the Timbersaw was mid and went 22 and 0 that game. He was, I've never seen a hero so immortal. There was literally, he could have stood there AFK with all five of us attacking him, and it would have taken us probably a minute to kill him. Yeah. He was, I've never experienced anything. Like, I would go in for, like, I, I got the perfect Echo Slams off for my level and for the the situation we were in and it would take him down like a quarter yeah like it was he was that he had that much health and i know echo slam ignores his armor i'm not even talking about his armor i'm talking he was so farmed had so many bloodstone charges had so many items had so many levels up on us that i mean my i think i I, think i was the lowest level in that game i got shit on hard in that safe lane and I should have I should have spoken up and, and like I've, we've talked Migs and I have talked about it since, but like we knew that they were going to run that Viper off lane, and because they had done it in the previous game, like it was a safe bet that that's what they were going to do. Um, and we knew that they had a mid, and we knew that they were, and we knew that they were fond of dual laning, which they also oh, yeah, did. Well, but we thought for sure Viper was mid because we're like it's Timbersaw, maybe it's a Marana mid, but we're pretty sure it's going to be Viper mid this time. <laughs> regardless that like, those were the comms at least i'm just relaying what we were talking about during the yeah and i i, yeah. I just like my concern the entire time even when we and especially right after we picked up the draw was fuck this viper's gonna wind up in the off lane and i'm gonna be running shit laner drow against lane dominator viper mm-hmm. and to be honest like i think that's entirely where it fell apart like i couldn't farm i couldn't do shit if i got up next to the wave i was a dead man so it didn't i would try to not do that if I was if I was in XP range, the Tusk would snowball in and bring the Viper, and they would just dominate me. So I was getting out leveled by a dual lane the entire time, and even with even when you guys were able to rotate in, like I mean, it's we were it was what Earthshaker and who? Uh, Earthshaker and the support. Uh, Shadow Shaman. He was Shadow Shaman. Uh huh. So shout we out. also didn't have Tulik on the comms at the time. That was another big fuck up for the whole yeah. thing. Was that Tulik's just, sound card went it out? It felt worse than a pub, is what it felt like. It yeah. felt like I, I don't know. Um, I had been up for like forty hours at that point. Yeah. Um, I had opted I, to drive home the night before. And I then drove ended home up from Vegas at ten a.m. and then got got back to uh, Utah uh, around six a.m. 
then I had a chore list the size of my arm. Um, so it's a yeah it's a long arm. length yeah. length of your arm length about. of my arm yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. and ended up because we just got a new car I had to sell the old car. Um, and so I sold the car and had to take it to the shop and all sorts of things happened that day. So it was a super busy day and I just literally didn't have time to sleep. And then seven o'clock, like six thirty, rolls around. I'm like, I'm gonna go to bed like right now. <laughs> and then it was like, oh yeah, practice. Um, and chugged another Red Bull and went all went along with that. <laughs> Started seeing things that weren't there yeah. and hearing things that weren't. weren't I being you know, said. And, and, and a lot of it I was, played like absolute garbage. For a lot sure, of it but. was draft too. Like I I think our draft was really weak in that game. I I would have rather. And I, I you know and and I'm admittedly still weak on drought to begin with. So having Having Drow as, you know, a weak laner and she's the newest addition to my carry repertoire, like, I, I, I should have just known. It, of course, it wasn't going to go well. And we got to do those games to get practice and get repetitions. Um, but I was, usually feel really strong on Earthshaker. I usually feel really comfortable on him. And that game, I felt, because Earthshaker doesn't do great against viper as far as zoning him yeah. like i can't what i throw a fissure at a viper early on and i then all well, of a sudden i'm slowed. taking damage yeah <laughs> and, and i'm like what how and... does that work and and so i was like i'm gonna leave this lane because i'm not doing literally anything here but soaking experience so i'm gonna go try and help mid and then i i try and help mid and i ended up dying and we probably and we and... probably should have kept you bottom just because at the very least like because in a 2v2 situation in a two v two, in a normal offlane two v two situation, Shadow Shaman still struggles because two v two is not great, right? Like it's two v one that you're hoping for in that situation, or three v one versus the offlaner, and then you really get to take make use of of Shadow Shaman's insane but Shadow right Shaman early can't on. get close enough to Viper to shackle. Um, Tusk was also there to snowball and interrupt the shackle. Right. So what? Shadow Shaman gets Ether Shock. Okay, well, Viper has built in magic resist. Um, everything was fucked. Yeah. So really, what was uh, SA playing? SA was playing Legion Commander. It Honestly, it should have been Legion down there. There should have been a lane swap immediately. I think if like, I, th I mean, this is me making a giant assumption, but I think if like all of a sudden you make like Liquid play that draft against that team. Liquid's going to be like, all right, Legion's going safe lane. We're going to keep Legion with... Uh, no, you're you right. I, I mean? would have fared better against a Dazzle Marana combo for yeah. sure. And we're going to put Drow there and we're just going to hope Drow can get levels because all we really need is level six on Drow and then Shadow Shaman. We're going to make sure you get extra levels mid. So actually we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to take our mid laner. We're going to give him some jungle or something. Uh, we need our Shadow Shaman to be six because we need to be able to utilize this quasi push team fight lineup that we have i don't even know what you'd label that yeah we didn't get as. anything out of it though. like if it's if we, <laughs> we, if, didn't if push we put anything. it as like magic cards that was like a red blue white black green deck dude it was just <laughs> like it was a little bit of everything you know yeah so i i, I definitely wish like if we're gonna do the np mid thing which i am i'm all about trying i know that there are gonna be people out there who will disagree with us and i know that but like Miggs has been enjoying it. He's been making it. He's been trying to make it work. And if he can make it work, I'm all about it. Yeah. It'd be a fun curveball to throw some teams every once in a while. But I I don't think we com we hardcore commit with the drow maybe in that spot. So I think and Proud brought this up when he was like giving us our like our spankings or whatever you want to call them after, because he said <laughs> play normal shit before you start playing weird shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if, if you want if you want to be good as a team, do like like pick your your Sven's, you know what I mean? Pick your, pick your lions, pick, pick like the, 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 like the base package. Like if Dota came as like direct TV channels, like, yeah. you know, like, uh, nature's profit would be in like the premium package. You yeah. know what I mean? He wouldn't come, he wouldn't <laughs> yeah. come in the basic no, package of heroes. Right. Well, so, or even, you know, so you know what I've wanted to do for a while and I'll, maybe I'll try to do it real quick. So you know how they're restricting the number of heroes that you can play in Dota 2? When you first join? Yeah. Well, they're not restricting it. They're just graying them out. You can still pick them. Oh, you can? They just gray them out for difficulty. They just, they, you can still pick whatever you want at the start. They just gray them out. They gray them out like they've been banned, but they're not really banned and you can still pick them. But yes, I'm very, very well huh. aware of this. Oh, mm. I thought, yeah. Oh, damn. They don't ban them. You can still pick like Visage. You can still pick Invoker, but it's grayed out. So it's, so you have that like psychology of 
You okay. don't want to play this, but you still can. Okay, I thought they were... I, I'd be okay with them straight up just not letting you pick those heroes. Oh, man. Um, for a person like me, the, the barrier of entry is already too big. If they limited me from playing heroes until I got to level 40 or whatever, I'd be like, fuck you, I'm out. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I want, I want, because my first hero was Nature's Prophet. Like, my first love. Yeah. You know? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's I, So, I, I, I wanted to start. remember. I wanted to start with the premium package. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I, th- I think that as far as, la- as far as doing a draft, I couldn't agree more as far as we need to worry more about picking a good team than countering their team. And I couldn't agree more as with Proud as far as just pick, Pick on the basic channels, like pick yeah. the basic channels first. And then when you want to get weird and you want to do like what I want to do, like a, an invoker four position or a tiny four position, um, do it. Then do it when you're so, so comfortable with that basic package that you can throw in some weird heroes in yeah. there or heroes that aren't intended. I, I also would roles. love to play some of my farmers. I do so. I know you hate it. I know you. I know you hate it. Well, it just it's it's just if your lane doesn't go perfectly, the even game's then over. that's not necessarily true. I, our games are it, the one common thread through most of our games is the even worse than us just getting like hardcore stomped. They last a long time, like <laughs> you know what I mean. Like they go for fucking. Well, when ever. you have sniper, it's gonna go for fucking ever. So that, yeah, that's why. Like if, if they don't usually go forever, we've been but the like, first game we were stomped like in I two would, seconds. I'd love to. I'd love to just try the AM. I just want to know. I want to see what it's like in the five stack. Like I, I it's I, good. Been, you just want to know. Like you're gonna be AM. You're gonna farm no, to be your battle fury, and then you're gonna farm and farm. No, and farm I want to know if I can have some success with you guys doing it because I have a lot of success in pubs doing it. Well, you're already and off even, farming alone anyway, so we may as well give you <laughs> anti mage. Uh, Inspector, like I, I'm, I'm killing it on Spectre lately. Even I was gonna talk because you were like, "Ooh, that Morphling game looked like it stung." I think you put Morphling, you put Spectre, you put anti mage, you put Medusa, all pretty much in the same category of needs a lot before can do. Yeah, you know, if you want oh, to yeah. like even take words out of a sentence and need, you know, <laughs> um, and that is a bad thing right now. I that's what I noticed most when I was playing that Morphling game is, I was farming super well and I was getting kills early, but I needed so much before the win condition was there, and you're and we're we'll four we'll we're used to four v five and we'll four v five our asses off. But the thing is, if you don't get your 22 to 24 minute um manta with yeah with I, you know yeah. everything we lose so the whole game I, so that but way how is it any different <laughs> you know what i mean like well, we I, just put then, the whole game on your shoulders and that sucks and that's not fun for anybody but you i, sh- I, I thought so one i think the goal is to win N- I, right that's like, not my goal okay but, All right. sure, but I mean, if we want to keep ha- like, but because I'm not having fun, like as it stands right now, like I'm, I'm still, not having I'm fun. I'm still having fun from time I can to tell time. you I did not have fun that drow game. There was nothing fun about that drow game for my lane. It was not a good time. I, I, I'm not having fun. The on... void game was even worse than the drow game, in my opinion. The void game, I felt way more in control because at the very least I was able, I had somebody who could mitigate that damage, and I didn't die. Like, the, no, didn't I, die. at the very least, did the... But we needed you to set up for everything. Right, like, but we... there was nobody rotating up there, and there was, like... So, yeah, the problem with the Void game was we attempted to do, for those that obviously don't have the background, you and There's I have... No con- we're giving no context. I know, we're giving no context. So we played the we played the game before the Drow game that we've been discussing, and uh, I was playing uh, Faceless Void, and Roland was on. Who were you on? Sorry, I'm pulling it uh, up. Ogre. Yeah, Ogre Magi, and we had. Uh, let's see, we had Tulik on, Tulek Rubik, on Rubik, Migs on Sniper Mid, and Sa on an Offlane Sand King, and we did an aggro tri lane. Um, I wound up being against an Abaddon and a Viper Offlane in my lane solo with the Void. You guys were against a PA and a Shadow Shaman, and Migs was midding against the, the uh, Storm Spirit. Um, yep. So and he did. He did good. Yeah, Migs did fine. I was getting like, I mean, it was Abaddon and Viper. I got what you could expect to get out of it, so long as I the, for the duration that I had Regen available to me, um, I was able to get up there and do a little bit of trading, which was really worthless with the Abaddon. Um, 
would have been really uh, thinking about like how do we rotate it still that lane still would have been hard 3v2 o- ogre rubik but we had the disable and they had Ogre-Rubik no disable Void. up there yeah but they had a uh, sustain an, an infinite amount of it and like but whoever he threw aphotic on we just go on the other yeah but viper is going to be hard to kill um it should have we should have done that we should have had ran the tri lane in the safe lane for sure but we were trying to do premium package shit right which is tr- aggro try no, and i would love yeah. to play that game again where sa is just getting levels especially because he i mean it was it was a a, a two-man lane of well i don't know and maybe he would have gotten just as screwed as i did because in that PA case was throwing da- it, that lane was rough and that's why i was staying down there because the fire hadn't been put out yet and it's like okay but one fire was worse than the other so and well, it and, was and you guys me- weren't getting kills yet like that was the other thing is like in those aggro tri lanes, and I think that had speaks there been to your proper, premium package had, thing. Had there been proper uh, execution, there would have been multiple kills. Because right. there were multiple times and in that case, where PA was walking away with a sliver of health, and it was like, fuck. Use your spells, is, one, yeah. is, is the thing. That's, so, but and in that case, had you guys been getting kills, had you, had, had you guys killed the PA, and maybe even the Shadow Shaman, like uh, once or twice, like once each, let's say. We killed I, the Shadow Shot a couple times. I think they would have rotated. I think they would have rotated people around. They would have rotated Abaddon and yeah. Viper up there, but you would have still been just as fucked. But at least I could time walk off the the Viper damage. What? Your but your your time walk. You don't have enough time. You don't have enough cool like your cool. But I'm getting solo XP. Like my I was maxing time walk. Like I knew that's what I had to do. Yeah, that was and, a wise move. Yeah, and, and so when you're talking about like, let's see what uh, faceless. Where are you? So what is your cooldown reduction? So it starts 24 seconds and it goes down to six. Mm-hmm. And even at 12 seconds, like 12 seconds ain't that bad for level three. 18 seconds ain't that bad for level. Well, I mean, it's still tough, but. A good survivor who can just. But for those 24 second and 18 second cooldown periods, I ha- I went to, ta- to lane with eight tangos. So I was, I was up there like I was getting last hits. I was even getting some denies early on. I just didn't have the sustain once once the tangos went away and I wasn't able to get more regen shipped out to me right away. That was when I had to back up and to basically seed experience and last hits until I could well, get never, regen shipped. You're to never me. really seeding all experience because it will be pushed to you. Yeah, except that it was too dangerous to fight them under tower be, with a full yeah. creep wave. Yeah, and there should have been rotations. There's a lot. There's a. I haven't even watched the replay, but I don't feel like I even need to. It was just. That game was, uh, sh- the laning phase was shitty, maybe could have been recovered uh, in mid-game with some really good play, u- utilizing Void and Sniper and Ogre. If I yeah. would have had both of you bloodlusted and a three-man chrono with shrapnel on the chrono and you guys targeting the same person, we could have started to yeah. started the momentum and got no, you the farm you missed. That game definitely didn't feel beyond, like, it it never until I liked the draft. Um, I did too. Like I was really comfortable with the draft. And, and Sand King can always epi and then blink into your chrono and just epi bleep 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 bleep. Yeah. Bleep. Like we had really good but combo. We never got any no, of the. We combo never off. executed. We, we never, never got any of it. Off. There was zero, there was never any execution because there was never any. Okay, like like what Proud loves to say. In thirty seconds, we're all going to be mid. It was more like let's get mid now. And then we see somebody and we're like, oh, look, the ball, like in soccer, like, let's go get it, even though not our whole team wasn't there. Yeah. And, you know, it, that happened multiple times. Um, and then Sniper started getting picked on, which he, there, he was against a storm spirit. So naturally, Sniper's just going to die a million, million, billion times. And that's not even MIG's fault. So I just became MIG's big two headed bodyguard, doing everything I could to keep him alive from a storm spirit that got his bloodstone and we killed him right away. So he, he got his bloodstone, we killed him, and it was awesome. And he's down to eight bloodstone charges right after he got his late bloodstone. He got a late bloodstone, too. And he, and he rushed bloodstone. So I was, I was feeling really good. And I was feeling so good that I didn't need to keep my eyes on Storm Spirit anymore. And then next thing I know, I click on Storm Spirit, and he has 16 bloodstone. And then he had 30 bloodstone. And then he had, like, 35 bloodstone. And the game, I get a glimmer cape as quickly as I can. I sell everything I have but mana boots to get a glimmer cape. Because I know, okay, if Storm zips in on Sniper, I'll Glimmer Cape him, and he'll be able to get in a better position to just badoink, badoink, badoink away at people while holding high ground. Because if we hold high ground long enough, and we wipe them, we might have a possibility of a GG push. Wasn't the case. Yeah. 
and we're just too often in that situation. I I don't know. I don't know. And there was some team arguing, which was bad, um, because that's never good. Uh, yeah. To have any sort of pe- uh, team arguing, um, whether somebody's right or wrong, it doesn't fucking matter. Just shut up. Like shut up. Um, that it can be discussed after the game, and it's not going to help during the game. It's just going to make people feel tilted, um, or you know, or less. I, I mean, tilted is a, an umbrella term for a bunch of things, like whether you're raging, whether you're feeling like you're not doing that well, so you're not doing that well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then we went into another game where uh, there is a lot of talking going on during the draft. Like, do this. No, never mind. Don't do that. Do I this. just said no, nothing during never that mind. draft. I, I was really no. tilted by that point. And like you had commented to me at one point that like I talked too much during the draft. And so I was just like, all right, I'm just going to do this. Nope. Wait, no, get this. Nope. We don't need that. Ban this. Nope. Don't do this. Do that. And that can't be easy. Like that's how, that's usually how it goes in the in houses when you're drafting, which it, those are fun and those don't matter. Right. And so yeah. it's, where it's like, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. And you're like, okay, well, I'm just going to ban Visage because it doesn't matter, you know, and there and there was a lot of that. And there's there's a lot of like theory crafting going on, too, which it shouldn't. I think it should just be we want to pick. We know that we want our core to be uh, a Sven like hero. What is good against the Sven like hero? Let's ban those. We know our mid. We want our mid to be a queen of pain. What is good against queen of pain? Yeah. Let's ban those. Like the that's the because we don't have any information on these other teams we're going up against. Our bands should be directed at what we the types of heroes we know we want to go for, and and that you know and then banning accordingly, right? Yeah, no, I I I agree mostly. Yeah, um, I you know I think you're still going to. I don't think you can ever a hundred percent avoid like responsive drafting, and I I think it's yeah being a responsive drafter is good, but you can responsively responsibly i'm not saying responsibly yeah i'm saying responsibly you can, you can respon- responsibly respond you can responsibly draft still that same sven like you can be like okay nap sven's out but we still that's a chaos knight's going to be good here because reality rift sure you know what i mean or something yeah. like that and he's similar enough to sven he still has that stun speaking of because i really don't want to play sven on on the team sure but you know i really i really I'm don't using feel sven as an no example. i know i know I- it's just um, funny you bring it up because I thought about it earlier bringing up that like I I feel so uncomfortable in Sven lately. I yeah, Sven was my seventy percent win rate hero that I felt I couldn't lose a game on no matter what. Um, uh, Maybe I just need to go on a run with him and just like spam him for fifteen games or twenty games or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Sven's weird. Sven's different. All right, before I feel like we're, I feel like we're downtrodden on today's episode. I'm not. Feel, I, no, I just it feels I, low energy. No, my problem is I have to go. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm I just know. busy as fuck. It sucks, dude. Just All right. Busy. Well, before before you go, I got one last thing I got to tell you. Okay. So I got my last. So I've been getting con the you know the conduct summary reports right. Yeah. So you get the conduct summaries, the show summaries. Uh, you can hit that and, and see what your last one was for the last twenty games. I I've been I I always get between like eight and 12 commands. That's been like the, the, the going rate of late and Rin Rin's been seeing it pop up and she's like, wow, 12 commands. Wow. And you know, she doesn't say wow, but I, wow. I imagine. Wow. 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 Um, patience. 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 So I wow. open up, I get my last one last night and it, for the first time ever, I saw that I had reports mm-hmm. four reports from different people in different matches while simultaneously having 12 commands. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I did. I couldn't tell you what I did. I must have been like one of the games that like I just did complete trash in. I think I, com- I think comms have more to do with reports than anything else because I I will if somebody plays bad and the game ends whatever, I'll I'll forget about it and I'll just close and start then my ne- my next game. But if there is that really toxic fuck in the game, I don't care how well he did. I am. I am definitely going to remember to report him. Not saying that you're some really toxic uh, yeah, fucking. Yeah, that's to say. I, thanks, bro. I'm not, no, no I, I'm, that's not what I'm getting at. But I'm, maybe you rub something the think, wrong way. I don't. I don't. I, I don't think that's for most people. I. I. So like, I. I know one. I love of how them. everything I do isn't most people. Well, well, it isn't. It isn't. I'm just. I am not a good example of people. No, you're not a good example way. of the stereotypical Dota community member. Why? 
Because you just aren't. Why? Because 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 you don't do the things that they do. You what? aren't what you, you don't have. Just it's just you're not like you're out of touch. You're out of touch with the memes. You don't even know any of the memes, Grandpa. Like neither we, do you. No, I don't either. I know. I'm I'm not saying I'm a good representative. But what? So I need to I'm know trying memes. To, I need to know memes. No, I'm and just I need saying like there racial things, slurs. Like yeah. is that is that what I have to <laughs> yeah. do? To I'm be... just saying there are things that are common amongst like the the. The stereotypical Dota 2 player. I'm really mad you know. at my enjoyment period. Like, <laughs> I'm enjoying myself, you fuckers! Ah. I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm I, sure I got reported in the game where I threw with the Monkey King. I'll guarantee two of those guys reported me. Yeah. I'm sure of it. As far as my reports go, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> nope, that makes sense. Because I either do really good or really bad. There's pretty much no in-between with my play. Like, I, I either like, that was the best game of my life or gonna forget about that one yeah <laughs> like that's, that's you know the I shittiest thing about that monkey king game that i threw was is i apologized profusely for doing it i was like i know like i owned it i owned up to it right away it's like yes mm. i did i was like i'm sorry I'm, I'm sorry and then i was pleading like please don't throw now like i know i threw don't be me don't do what i did yeah don't do Anyway, yeah. yeah, so I got reports and I um I'm I'm definitely confused by it. It's the first time it's ever happened. Oh. It really oh. it hurt. I bet they were totally not justified. I know you say that sarcastically. Oh no, I'm not being sarcastic. But I bet they were not justified at all. I bet you didn't deserve to get reported. Oh my god, you're such an asshole. <laughs> Ask Mortrid. Mortrid will tell you. Mortrid, yeah. right in. Oh, right into the show. Tell Roland I wasn't I bet a douche, he I wasn't even, a douche I bet bag. He, the I bet time. he just recognized dot P and was like, Oh, I like proud. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Mortrid, listen or to the like, show. Oh, I just listened to the Please, break. Mortred. I just listened to the breaky episodes tell him. when he gets good when he gets good guests. <laughs> I'm like oh, oh, man. I hope he writes in. I hope I I somebody out there. I know people have played games with me, and then like at the end of the game, they're like, "Oh, Sorry. hey, by the way, you know," and they say something. Oh, I, by the way, I would love a miserable for them. experience. <laughs> please write in if you have a miserable experience in a game with me. Please write in and tell now me. Now we're just gonna get please a hundred emails from people saying, "Cyphus is so great." Oh, there was this one time where Cyphus let me have a last hit, and I couldn't believe it because usually he takes them all. And then I'll tell you to go fuck yourself because <laughs> that's right. Of course, that's the mounting evidence. Yeah, yeah. I could, I could, yeah, I could use uh, people telling me to go fuck myself a little more often. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna close it out so you can get going. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what time we're at, but uh, whatever. It's a short show. You, you guys can feel it. It's low energy yeah. today. It's Labor Day. You're not even listening to this anyway because you're all out at the beach or whatever you do on labor day <laughs> camping or the beach that's what i you know i hate the beach can we mention that i don't get the beach i think it's cool to like whoa the ocean man like that goes so far i can't even see the end i like that's what's cool about okay. the beach i like the beach but i don't like the beach that's around here that's like by the lake oh a lake beach is lame the only I, thing I that's agree. cool is like that is the fucking ocean bra the like, ocean see, like beach. you can see the curvature of the world the ocean beach you know? is amazing yeah i like the ocean beach but i don't like want to like stick my feet in sand i don't want I'm to all right with that i don't want to walk out as far as i can like i'm just i'm a grandpa in that way too where uh -huh. it's like i'm gonna put my boots on if we're going on the beach because i definitely don't want to get any sand in my shoes <laughs> like i don't i don't see i don't want to lay out on a towel and have the sun bombard me with alpha rays you know yeah. what i mean yeah I'm with I, you. I don't care about that I'm with i don't you. care about a good tan you yeah. know what i mean I'm not well, obviously <laughs> i am getting one i mean from from being from hanging from we, laboring i mean my my left arm the one that hangs out the driver's window is always the one that gets tanned wow that is it's really bad that's, the difference between my left arm and my right arm i did see the difference and that's yeah if only uh, your mustang could cover some of the sun well, I need. Mean, that's why I should have gone with the convertible, you know. Then I, I could even it out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Utah, that makes total sense. A convertible. Um. All right. Yeah. Fuck the beach. I guess. Yeah. I'd love to go out on a boat. I, I would love to own a boat if I had like a boat jockey. <laughs> and what I mean by that is a guy to clean the boat after to put oh, fuel okay. in the boat. Yeah. To get the boat there. Yeah. To get me on the water and then be like, okay, boat jockey, go. Go. Be, be gone Swim with back you. to shore. Yeah, be gone with you, boat jockey. <laughs> and when I'm done with this, I want you to clean it because I know you have to do that. 
Uh, uh, that's yeah. that's the only circumstance I'd have a boat because I've in the past they're just more. It's like nine hours of prep. You get on the water and you're like, and it's fun, but you can't even drink because you get BUIs. Boating under <laughs> the influence is serious. They're called BUIs. They call them buoys. They call them yeah buoys. There's <laughs> there's just... tons of buoys uh, <laughs> out there. Yeah, like I feel like that's part of the experience. I've got to be at least a little drunk. And I can't. I, I can't can drink. drink. And, no, you, you can, cannot no, drink no, no. and drive a boat. It's the no, same. No, no, I, I know, but I mean, you could Why? have a drink. Why can't I drink and drive a boat? Because I'm you out might, on the open yeah, seas. If you do something too fast, like, or you tip the boat, you know, oh, they don't want you I to know die. you're supposed to go. I know you're not supposed or to go. Like hit. You're never supposed to go parallel with the waves. I understand that. Anybody can understand that. Or like hit, uh, you know, random people that are out there. Yeah, swimming. there are no brakes on a boat. Yeah, that's another thing about boats. Um, but yeah, no, get me. But like, you could go out and drink and have a sober boat driver. Like, why don't you? That why isn't the boat jockey because there to do that? You the know? whole point of having a boat is to drive it, and and be inebriated. That I want to be like that is mm. definitely on my bucket list to be at least double the legal limit in driving a boat. That is on my boat list, my boat bucket list, like. Double the legal limit driving a boat, for sure. Okay. Uh, because, yeah, nothing bouncing on the waves, dude, going way too fast. Double the legal limit. Need for speed. Oh, man. On a race boat. I don't want to be that there when you That sounds awesome, it. dude. But you can't because of laws and because of this structure that we have, that we have to live by. What happened to Roland? Yeah. He's lost at sea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be a cool story. Yeah. That you died out he there was, he, drunkenly driving your boat. He was yeah. double the legal limit at least. <laughs> <laughs> he must have flipped it. <laughs> I don't know how he died, but I know how drunk he was. <laughs> give me give me double the legal limit in a boat that 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 has that can go pretty fast. And that's okay. and that and a boat jockey to make sure the boat's not gonna uh-huh. break down on me. Yeah. Because if you break down and, in a boat, you're fucked. What do you call him a boat jockey? <laughs> well, you know, something like that. <laughs> Take care of my boat. <laughs> like that's what I. Uh, I don't want to drive it there, dock no. it, do everything. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, sure. Sure. Fill sure. it up with gas. You know. All right, you gotta go. I'm closing. Her I'll out. cover the boat. I'll pay the boat. Jockey. Find us at defenseofthepatients dot com. If you want to support the show, if you like what we're doing, if you want to help Roland get drunk and drive a boat someday. I wouldn't tell the police that. No, I mean, but no, this episode will not be entered into but evidence. But they like look at you through soon. like binoculars and stuff. Like, yeah, they like watch you. Yeah. So maybe I'll just get like a catamaran and sail the seas. <laughs> Except I don't think I could handle. Once you get the out seas. to international waters, it's it's all fair game. Oh yeah. Well, I guess I'll out there with my yeah. boat jockey. Get drunk, drop anchor, hang out, drive around. I don't want to and... drop anchor. That's the point. <laughs> Stop saying drop anchor. Okay. okay? I want to drive the boat. That's the whole point of having a boat isn't to have a boat driver. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Do you want somebody to drive you around in your Mustang? No. Yeah. God, no. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You want the freedom. I do. Yeah. I want the freedom of being driving a boat. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> if you want to support the show, you can do so by going to patreon.com forward slash defense of the patients. That thing needs to spruce up because some of the goals are outdated, but we're going to be doing that soon. Still, if you donate now as little as a dollar, you can get access to patron-exclusive episodes <laughs> of the podcast. Every dollar goes toward that boat. Every dollar gets us closer to drunk boat and Roland. And if you donate now, I, I will make sure... We should do like a 10000 uh, Well, how much are... Boats are like... $10,000 and we'll do a drunk boat episode. And we'll film it while I'm not driving. Right. <laughs> so I don't we'll get in cut. trouble. So, okay, I got to tell this story before we go. Oh, so the man. other night, um, uh, I was on Twitch right as the big fight was going down. The um, Conor uh, McGregor versus Floyd yeah, Mayweather. Yeah. So right as that was happening, and I was seeing the fight all over the place. And um, we were on on Discord with our buddy Harry uh, mm-hmm. Dalamere. Mm-hmm. Um, Rin's there too, and we're and so we see that like where where it's popular to like post the fight is under the IRL section. So we click on IRL, and one of the top streamers there is Pink Sparkles, and um, Pink Sparkles, you know whatever, say what you will. She's she's got a strategy for how she's earning her money, doing her thing on Twitch, and it's working is that for eating her. Pink Sparkles. No, no, that's just her name. Pink Sparkles oh. is a, a, a very beautiful uh, a female who decides that she's gonna. Uh, like you can pay to ha- watch her exercise, for instance, or you can, uh, you know, you can pay to watch her dance. Uh, so you, she does those types so of things. So soft core cam girl, soft core cam girl kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting triple called by my mom okay. right now. All right. Well, we're gonna finish the story real quick. I swear. 
So then, uh, so while we're there, uh, she's doing a drunk cosplay and I'm like, what is this? Like, and you paid what? $15 to, to have it continue. No, 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 no. So we, <laughs> so what we realize is she's cosplaying being drunk because on Twitter or on Twitch, you can't get drunk. So literally the cosplay is being drunk. It's she's cosplaying a drunk person. She's not do being drunk as a, like in a drow ranger outfit. She's cosplaying a drunk cosplaying person. a drunk person. Yeah, you only need to say it once. It's a pretty simple topic. But it's just fascinating. It's, yeah. it's still fascinating. But uh, that's what we'll be doing. That's what we'll be doing. We'll be cosplaying you oh, drunk. Oh yeah, you I, drunk I, I'm totally not above <laughs> the legal limit. Just you know, just so everybody else. I'll like, bring my I'll bring do. my white wine. Yeah, and make sure it's chilled. Yeah, you know what I mean. Except it'll just be Gatorade. Because we're going to be cosplaying. You yeah, it's drunk. it's a uh, whatever yeah. Gatorade looks yeah. uh, ye- like. A, I'm colorblind. What is that? Yellow? Yeah. White wine? Yeah. That's kind of yellowish in tint. Yeah. Would you say? I'd say uh-huh. it's, yeah, it's golden delicious. I'll tell you that. So that, that's what when you tune in, folks, and you see Roland drunk driving the boat, it's a cosplay. Dude, here pretty soon, my wine, is getting, my wine is getting so dry, it's going to be like paper towels in a cup. Dude. <laughs> I'm just going to like drink paper towels. Like, I, I love it. Dry. Just is so dry that it's like they it was bottled into the Sahara Desert, dude. All right, you can support the show by doing that. Going to patreon.com and uh, forward slash defense of the patients. You can donate to the show. You I can also I, go to defense of the com, click through the Amazon banner, or you can go support our sponsors. I don't support, I don't support buoying, okay, or <laughs> boating under the influence, okay. I don't support, we don't that. do that here, and neither do our sponsors. If you go support, go support our sponsors, that's another great way to support the show. I'm trying to close it out. So you yeah, do it. Hurry. I need to go. Email us at defensivepatients at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at dot P underscore show. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. That's going to do. Oh, and leave us iTunes reviews. We have several we have to get to, but we're not going to be able to do it today. Thanks, guys. Until next time, Cyphus, Roland, and good luck. Bye.